Well, Prospect Meadow Farm, you know, we look at this as a first job experience. So a lot of folks come to us with no previous work experience, so we want to help them explore a wide range of activities. And so that might be harvesting produce, uh, it might be a shift at our cafe. I harvest vegetables, I do egg collections, I work at the store, um, I'm pretty much a jack of all trades, I do pretty much what's needed. When they mentioned llamas, I was like, okay. And then I was like, I would, I'm interested in working in this place. Our goal is to make sure you have options and you know, we follow your lead after that as far as what you want to do with those options. And you're sort of identifying what you want to focus on over time. I always love taking pictures wherever I go and I started doing my own cards. What I see myself doing in the future is getting more out there in the world and the stores. I began working at the farm in 2011. I was a job coach, but now I'm a senior job coach. You're, you're also making sure that like everyone is doing okay and like that you can be supportive of everyone and, and to their, all their needs. I like running the store, the cash register, talking to all the customers come in. It's not about selling stuff in the store, it's just about helping people get what they want in life. It's been nine years that the farm's been around, but we want to act as if we're in a startup. We want to pass on that entrepreneurial spirit and energy to the farmhands. You're always looking at what's next. What's exciting this year is we're really encouraging that entrepreneurial spirit by helping our individuals form their own businesses. That was my first thing I really wanted to do. I loved bees all my life, ever since I was a, not even one. Just their whole anatomy. And I told Sean that. He said, we'll have a place that you can keep your bees here. They designed the business plan to really make sure he got off to a strong start. And then we provided for eight weeks to have an expert in uh, bees come. And then we purchased the honey from him for our store. I do math class at Greenfield Community College. Before I took that math class, when it came to math, I was like a wet match in a dark cave. Basically, I just wanted to get an education, you know? So it's really sort of developing a culture and understanding that you should always be trying to move forward. I was hired to do an illustration for a children's book called Mommy's Little Farm Girl. Um, they've been selling well at, at the Prospect Meadow West. They're also available on the ServiceNet website. I'm working at the Rooster Cafe here at the building of the ServiceNet. So my great-grandmother's recipe um, came into my head. I thought the idea of maybe we could do a cookie cutters of the rooster, since, since the rooster is part of this whole cafe. We're always developing new programs. It's core to our culture, so they get that excitement. They catch that bug, too. Folks don't necessarily know what they want to do, I probably was pretty similar at, at 20. I probably could have used the sort of support that we receive here, some exploration to try some different things. We want to do that for the folks who do have the opportunity to come here. I'm really proud of my education. I was always inspired in wanting to be an animator. It makes me feel good and just makes me relax from all the stress around me. I bought a car, saved up, and now I'm saving up to buy a truck. I wanted to have my own business since I was like, what, 10? And uh, I finally got it. Well, I'm also still learning and I'm always still teaching. In order to be a student slash teacher, you always have to be a student slash teacher. I would love to be a manager, helping people achieve their goals like I did here.